about it as a cycle. During the day, you're in your cell awake. During the night, you're awake in the interrogation room. During the day, you're awake in your cell. And so it goes on and on. Three, four, five days of no sleep, you will be ready to sign anything. If not, there is physical violence. So almost everybody here was beaten up, mostly in the stomach, in the back. It could create uh, internal bleeding, and it was also very painful, so very effective. And it didn't matter what was your age or gender, uh, they treated everybody almost equally. Um, and we know that at least six pregnant ladies were held here as prisoners. No vegetables, really. And for the texture, so that it would be more thick, they would add flour. And that's it. Uh, so the quality of the food was terrible. Also, the heat made all the smells way more vivid, so uh, smells of sweat, of blood, of puke, of the toilet, which was just a bucket in the corner of a cell. This is not an original one, don't worry. <laughs> but it was empty just once a day, and in some cells it could be up to 60 people. So, after an event, or an accident that uh, happened in 1951. So there was a prisoner who um, was taken to an interrogation room on the sixth floor. And uh, in the morning, when interrogation <coughs> usually end, so about six or seven in the morning, um, he was he, he was about to be taken back to the prison. So his guard walked outside the room, but he ran towards the window, opened it, and jumped out. So he committed suicide. Uh, it was the sixth floor, he did not survive the jump, of course, and he landed on the street, um, which is the busiest street in the city. The central street is called Brigitte, you see, for the street of freedom. Thank you. 